So looking at graphs, how can we tell if they're linear or nonlinear? So what we have right here is we have three graphs, uh, one, two, and three, and we are going to determine if they are linear. Uh, so what linear means, if you think of what linear is, we think of line. And when you were in elementary school and you were taught to stand in a line, you didn't stand in a line that stretched from one side of the hallway and snaked back and forth you stood in a straight line. So we would say that is linear. So whenever we look at a graph and ask if it's linear or nonlinear, it's linear if it is straight. We have noticed a ton of mistakes where uh, maybe we're getting what a function is confused with what linear is. But what linear is, is a straight graph. It's a graph that's a straight line. So out of these three, we notice that this one is a perfectly straight line. So we say that is linear. It's only linear if it's a straight line. So it has to be straight line. That's why this one's linear. If we look at this one, it's linear for a little bit and then it curves and then it curves again and then it curves again and then it curves again. So the second one, it is nonlinear, and we say it is nonlinear because it is not a straight line. It is not a straight line. Let's take a look at graph three. Oh, we've got a curve here, we've got a curve here. So if you had to guess, is this linear or nonlinear? Well, it's nonlinear. It's nonlinear because again, it's not a straight line line. It is only linear. A graph is only linear if it is a straight line. We don't look at the y and x axis. We just look at what the graph is. So boom, that's a straight line. It's linear. This is not a straight line, so it's nonlinear. And this too is not a straight line, so we call it nonlinear. Now let's take a look at what the heck is a function or not, because they're different. Remember, when we, we look at a graph, we test it, we test it by the vertical line test. This is our bread and butter to tell if a graph is a function. And remember, we just draw a vertical line. Remember vertical? Straight up and down through our graph. And for it to be a function, this one is a function because our vertical line, vertical line, only hits in one spot. For it to be a function, the vertical line can only hit the graph in one spot. Now let's take a look at this one. Now it's really close right here, it's really close right here, but it only hits in one spot. This one only hits in one spot. Oh, only hits in one spot, only hits in one spot, only hits in one spot. You see the trend for this one. This one is a function. Our vertical line, vertical lines hit only once. Okay, that's a vertical line test and it passed, so it's a function. Now let's take a look at this one. Oh, it passes here because it only hits once, it passes there because it only hits once. What if I do right here, how many times does it hit? Well, it hits once, it hits twice, oh, it hits three times. So we know that this is not a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. All right, so watch that video, rewind it if you need to. Linear versus nonlinear, remember linear is only a straight line. If it's a function or not, we gotta use the vertical line test.